So what is data modeling? Well, like a lot of things in life, let's just say it helps to plan ahead. Data modeling in general is the process of describing the data relevant to a particular target domain, as it's sometimes called. What is it that you're trying to build software for? What are the requirements? And critically, who's involved? Think of the entities in the domain. What are the objects and their attributes to get into developer speak a little bit there? Perhaps you have a owner of a pet and each owner will have certain attributes describing them and each pet would have other attributes describing them. And then how are they related? Does the owner have a pet? Perhaps a pet has an owner. Which entity belongs to which and how do they belong to each other? Last, cardinality. How many are on each side? Does each owner have one pet? Does it have many pets? Perhaps there are many owners and many pets, and each owner may own multiple pets. It's good to figure this out in advance. So you might proceed through a series of phases in this process. First, there's the broad conceptual phase. You're visualizing everything. You're diagramming the entities and their relationships, trying to figure out who owns what. Now, there's a lot of notation that has evolved over the years to do this. Chen, crow's foot, UML, all kinds of things. But you'll end up using what works for you. We did. The logical phase is where you begin to anticipate how your underlying technology is going to impact your design. So perhaps you begin thinking of your entities as classes or something of that sort, beginning to understand how all of this might work together given the underlying database system of documents or key value or graph, or you might even be using old style relational technology. Last, there's the physical phase, and this is when you begin the process of implementing your conceptual design in your target technology. So this is where you might begin to draft actual JSON documents, or again, if you're using old style technology, building out the rigid fixed table structure that you're going to begin shoving data into later. But we'll get back to that. In this course, again, we use an abstracted form of Chen notation, and we're going to be showing drafted JSON documents which express that conceptual design. Again, you'll use what works best for your needs. So how might you conceptually model a use case? Well, imagine a very simplified order processing system. You might have a customer who has certain attributes, like a name, who creates an order. Now that order needs to be paid for, so there's some kind of a pay type that will handle the information for how a given individual order will be completed. The order itself has items. Why order unless you're going to order particular items? But notice here, items is a plural indicating, hmm, when this gets into the logical and physical phases, you might be dealing with some form of array or something of that sort, but the items themselves are going to need to have a quantity so that when each item is related to the product that's going to be purchased, you know how many you want of that product within the order. The underlying products themselves would have attributes describing what they are. Name, description, price, warranty, etc., etc. You might go another step in the logical phase and start thinking of how you would implement this in your code. Would order and items belong together in some way, even though they are theoretically distinct entities? Is product a distinct entity? Would you implement it as such, separate from the order and the items array within it, tracking how many there are? Is customer something distinct? Is a pay type distinct or might a pay type actually be part of your order? It's a time to ask questions and explore, hopefully informed by your development team. So what have you learned here? First, data modeling is the process of analyzing a business domain, all of the requirements that you plan to address with the technology that you're designing. So what are the entities, the relationships, and the cardinality? Or what are the moving parts? Which moving parts belong to which? And how many are there on each side? Get your pen and paper out. Just start drawing. And then we considered how you might go through a series of phases in this process. First, there's the conceptual phase. This is where you're visualizing your entities and the relationships among them. 
Then there's the logical phase, where you anticipate how the target technology may impact the design. This might be where particular entities begin to get grouped together in underlying classes or something of that sort. Last, there's the physical data modeling phase, and this is when you begin to draft the underlying implementations. This could be creating JSON documents or designing table schema, if you're into such things. If you'd like to learn more about how you can go ahead with all of this using Couchbase JSON-focused NoSQL technology, stick around. we got a lot to cover.